we will now uh, create a final operating point and use this as the starting point for a continuation of this simulation in Simulink. So, start a Simulink model. We create a blank model, uh, double clicking on the canvas, and we will create a ramp. We, uh, and the slope for the ramp will be one. We will create a constant. And we will create a relational operator. Relational operator. And we will create a stop block. So uh, connect the ramp and the constant and the relational block to the stop. So uh, this um, ramp, it starts at zero, has this slope one, so it will keep on counting time uh, in a linear relation. And we will put the constant to a value of 20. Uh, then we want the uh, operator block to work in the way that when the ramp reaches 20, the simulation should stop. So this must be larger or equal to. And to make this a bit more graphical, we will also put in a scope. And the only need one port on this scope. And we will study the signal from the ramp. We can also put in a display here, just to show a numerical value. So also from the ramp then. So uh, let's do this simulation. Uh, uh, after 20 seconds, it will stop. So we will put the stop time to 30 seconds. Then we will study the scope and we will start the simulation. Yeah, this is what we expected. Starts at um, zero and ends after 20 seconds. That is great. Uh, now we would like to run this for 10 seconds. So put in 10. Back to the scope and start the simulation. So then it stops after 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, we would like to use this value uh, to continue uh, the new simulation or the second part of the simulation. So go into the modeling tab, model settings, data import export, and uh, fill in the final state, save final operating point. And we call this the first part first part the first part of this simulation then okay uh, so let's run this simulation and uh, it will stop at uh, 10 seconds so go in and run the simulation okay it runs for 10 seconds but there is no in the workspace MATLAB workspace there is no uh, operating point saved so what we need to do is to uh, go into the Simulink model to the property inspector and uh, to properties. And when it comes to callbacks, we need to put in a stop function. And the stop function should be that the first part is equal to the out data. So, uh, so let's go back to the scope and redo this simulation. And here we see it. Now we have this first part as a model operating point. Now we want to use this first part as a start uh, point for the, our simulation. So once more, go into the model settings. 
go into data import export and we don't want any more uh, logging here so take out this final states and uh, initial state here should then be first part this should be the start of our simulation so okay and if we do a simulation like this then we need to start it will start at 10 seconds and we'll make the simulations for 30 seconds so going to the scope starting the simulation from the scope yeah it starts at 10 seconds it's a linear relationship up to 20 seconds that works perfect really nice <laughs>